Good evening and welcome to Millennium Stage. And now, please give a warm welcome to the U.S. Army Band, Pershing's Own. Good evening, I'm Staff Sergeant Sonia Candelaria, and the United States Army Band Pershing Zone Chamber Players welcome you to an evening of chamber music celebrating the works of African American composers. We start with two works written by two of the founding members of the Grammy-nominated quintet Amani Wins, Valerie Coleman and Jeff Scott. Fanmi Imen is a Haitian Creole for Maya Angelou's famous work, Human Family. We are more alike, my friends, than unalike, Angelo says, which reaffirms our humanity as a reminder of unity. Jeff Scott's The Gift of Life was commissioned to honor the life of Ingrid Worth, an aspiring musician who tragically died in an accident while still a young child. The opening motif serves as a metaphor for youth and how when given the opportunity, people soar. The work takes us through the tragedy of her death with the piccolo's flutter, flutter tones representing the sounds of an EKG machine. The piece then concludes with a joyful celebration of her life. So please help me welcome to the stage staff sergeants James Miller and Nick Starr as they perform Valerie Coleman's Fanmi Imen. I note the obvious differences in the human family. Some of us are serious, some thrive on comedy. Some declare their lives are lived as true profundity, and others claim they really live the real reality. The variety of our skin tones can confuse, bemuse, delight, brown and pink and beige and purple, tan and blue and white. I've sailed upon the seven seas and stopped in every land. I've seen the wonders of the world, not yet one common man. I know 10,000 women called Jane and Mary Jane, but I've not seen any two who really were the same. Mirror twins are different although their features jibe, and lovers think quite different thoughts while lying side by side. We love and lose in China, we weep on England's moors, and laugh and moan in Guinea, and thrive on Spanish shores. We seek success in Finland, are born and die in Maine. In minor ways we differ, in major, we are the same. I note the obvious differences between each sort and type, but we are more alike, my friends, than we are unalike. We are more alike, my friends, than we are unalike. We are more alike, my friends, than we are unalike. Thank you. 
Florence Price is the first African-American woman to be recognized as a symphonic composer. And while her training was steeped in European tradition, her music mostly consisted of the American idiom and reveals her southern roots. One of her students, Margaret Bonds, began writing at the young age of five and followed Price's footsteps in Western education at Northwestern University and the Juilliard School. 
And our final work on the program is the first of two string quartets written by George Walker. His most known work, Lyric for Strings, was adapted from the second movement of this string quartet, which was originally written in 1946 as an homage to his grandmother. And just like the other composers in this program, Walker's music was firmly rooted in the modern classical tradition, but drew from African-American spirituals and jazz. And this combination of these influences is what contributes to an important layer of culture and identity in the American classical music genre. We hope you enjoy the rest of the program and we'll meet you afterwards for a quick chat if you can stay. And so for now, please welcome to the stage sergeants, Staff Sergeants Adiza Jabril and Nick Starr. Send me to eat in the kitchen when company comes. But I laugh and eat well and grow strong. Tomorrow I'll sit at the table when company. Comes. Nobody will dare say to me, eat in the kitchen then. Besides, they'll see how beautiful I am. And be Ashamed. Would that I were a jewel, a shattered jewel, that all my shining brilliance might fall at thy feet, thou dark one. Would that I were a garment, a shimmering silken all my faults might wrap about thy body, absorb thy body, hold and hide thy body, thou dark I were a flame, but one sharp leaping flame to annihilate thy body, thou dark
would sing and pray myself away. My soul is anchored in the Lord, oh Lord, my soul is anchored in the Lord, oh Lord, my soul is anchored in the Lord. I'm going to pray and never stop, my soul is anchored in the Lord, until I've reached the Top. My soul is anchored in the Lord, oh Lord, my soul is anchored in the Lord, oh Lord, my soul is anchored in the Lord.
Thank you so much for coming out. We always appreciate being here at the Millennium Stage. Thank you to the Millennium, the Millennium Stage staff and the Kennedy Center. Um, I just wanted to let you know of a couple of things. You can visit our website at usarmyband.com to see um, some of our future events. Um, next Saturday, the concert band and Army Voices are going to be performing a, a show entitled Patriots and, Patri um, Patriots and Patriotism, I believe. Oh, no, that doesn't sound right. Sorry. Patriots and Presidents. Thank you. <laughs> next, next week on Saturday at 7.30 p.m., just down the road in Schlesinger. And we're also featuring um, our chamber players again at this time um, with the women composers. And that's going to be at Nath National Cathedral on March the 3rd at 3 o'clock. So check out our website. We'd love to see you. Follow us on Twitter and all of those other things, Instagram. And uh, if you'd like to chat with some of our musicians, take some photos. We'd love to chat with you after the concert. Thanks. <laughs>